We're at Rapids Ford in Wisconsin Rapids. And the funny part is, is it used to be a Kmart. And look at that sign. It looks like just black spray paint over it. All right. Going to look at what they have for cars for sale. A little bit windy. I'm not using my cozy on it. So hopefully uh, it's not too much wind noise. They do have a fair amount of used vehicles, which I've not really been seeing. All right, I gotta look at this. Oh, Maki, -E, look at that color. Like school bus yellow or something. 61,000. That would be the most unique vehicle out there. Even those tires, wow. Everywhere I go, the cars are covered with some uh, drop ins. All right, I like the. Well, the seats mostly because it stays clean. 36 grand. Need to learn my uh, vehicles here. It's 23. The Jeep Cherokee. Yeah, leather seats with no sun off. 17 grand. I'll use this one. It's 19. Up at Chevy Equinox. 19 grand. In a 2020, so I'm not seeing the miles. I suppose it come all the way over here. 83,000 miles, cloth interior. Uh, all right, Ford was a Bronco too. Big Bend edition, cloth interior, hard roof. It's kind of a bump in the roof. Must be the back. It's more headroom than the front. 31680 in a 2023. Only 7,300 miles, so it's about brand new. Cherokee Limited. Panoramic roof. Cycle going by. 18 grand. There they go. Portable car. Well, comparatively. 7,215. And roll the RAV4. Look at how faded the headlights are. What year is this one? Oh, an 08. It's getting up there. 177,000 miles, also getting up there. All right, Ford. Guessing it's an Escape. I always think that's a uh, Porsche wannabe front end, but hey, a Porsche is a Ford wannabe front end. I'm not sure which. Uh, custom hail damage looks like. Oh, really, 16,000 miles. 2021 it says lease vehicle. Nothing else marked off. All wheel drive. You got 40 on the window sticker and 25 up there. Nice interior. I don't know if this is one they've sat on in a while. That they've got it marked down so much, but 16,000 miles, it's pretty low. Oh, what's that? An Avalon? Black leather interior, it's like a black exterior. It's be a little bit older. Avalons are usually kind of pricey. Got 14 right there, so it must be 2014. 225,000 miles, 3.3 or 3.5 V6. So that's something when you're looking around and you can see that there's one here for sale for 225,000. That still has, uh, or that it's nine grand. Still some life left in it. But maybe a newer one would be a good price or a good deal. Although, I mean, they're not making those anymore. But, uh, I mean, if you're looking at used cars, you can find an Avalon with a little less miles thinking you can hit 225. All right, Mazda, 27 grand. 2022, leather interior, sunroof. Yeah, it looks like 15,000 miles. That's another. Yeah, I guess 27 is a lot for Mazda, but it's really low miles. All right, I remember when these were new. Corvettes, 1996. I was out of high school a long time by the time this car was made. Look how low this is. I just, uh, my issue is everyone's driving SUVs now and uh, not trimming their hedges and stuff. Like, I don't know that you'd be able to see it. Uh, Cut pull out on the intersection, but maybe if you go fast enough down the freeway. Yeah, I mean, this is 
I mean, the, the hood is even up to my pocket, basically. I have sat in a Corvette. I can't remember specifically driving one, but I felt like I was really down inside of it. All right. Ford EcoSport. Haven't seen many of these. Basically, a mini escape must be. 18 grand for 2020. There you go. Cloth interior. Nothing too filthy. Everything seems to have a tiny bit of hail damage. 31,000. Ray Ford. It's escaping me now. Edge. I always think of the older Edge that was a little boxier. I guess the tags give away. I like the leather seats with the detail like that. 85,000 miles. Uh, okay, let's see. There's kind of a hike to the other section, but uh, maybe we can get away from all the cycles driving down 8th Street. Not far away is, uh, is an auction house, uh, Barrett's Auction. Uh, many times I went and bought stuff at Barrett's Auction. They put it up for sale for what I thought was a crazy amount of money, and then uh, it got tore down. So maybe it was worth it. That, uh, or maybe, maybe the land was worth it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, I guess too many here to look at everything. 20 grand for 2019 Chevrolet. So this is a Ford lot, and then you see um, some of the other cars. So you always have to wonder where the Chevys and uh, Nissans and Mazdas, where those trade-ins, they pick them up at auction, like where did they come from? Because you think maybe a Ford on a Ford lot, you'd think it came from somebody trading in and get another Ford. 95,000 miles on that one. And then like, that's probably a positive thing. Like it was a good vehicle and they traded it off to get another good vehicle. But when they're buying a different brand, you gotta wonder if they just weren't happy with it. See, this is 35 on the sticker. And then 22,977 over here. So they're doing some really deep discounts. So kind of tells me that they're trying to move some of these vehicles. The Surf, 23,000 miles. See, they got 40 on this, on the window sticker, and 27 on the hang tag. So yeah, there's definitely uh, some changes happening in the car market. 35 on this sticker and 20 there. So, I mean, that's that's like a really big percentage. All right, 37,000, 2023 Dodge. And I don't see any badging. Maybe on the back to see what engine this has. 2.6 E6, but see, they got 54,990, 34,000 miles. Durango GT. So I'm just amazed at the uh, difference. 40 grand on the window sticker. Oh, uh, let's see. 74,000 miles. Buff interior, no sunroof. Let's see, 20 grand. And Grand Cherokee. See, look at those dents. Very, very nice interior. Brown seems to be like the new thing. I always like the black, but like a really dark gray seemed to hide things the best. Hair over 100,000 miles. Must be 5.38 cylinder, four wheel drive. Very nice interior. Uh, 34,000, I want to know what And it's, it's faded. 719 is a signature, so it's not like a crazy long time ago. Well, um, I believe they have to date the signature on the uh, window sticker for the uh, vehicle inspection. Wisconsin requires vehicle inspection. See, like that one's April of 24. So this one's been here a while. Three liter, 
Must be six cylinder. Let's see, 53, 9, 95. And they got 37 on there. Panoramic rough. Ah, Lincoln's always seem nice, but I don't think I'd ever spend the money. But I'm cheap. Uh, 59, 990, 722 of this year, 58,000 miles, 56,000 miles, can't tell. Very tinted windows. Nice interior, 43,000 on the uh, hang tag. 50 grand, 2021, I didn't remember these things that aren't that long. Looks like the soft top. Wild track. Kind of a nice, nice interior. And these windows are so tinted, I can never read it. Looks like 17,000 miles. I mean, these look like something, I don't know, you'd save forever maybe. They just seem like something that you'd make into a classic. Uh, this has got just over 2,000 miles. Well, the window sticker says they're asking $77,999. 2.7 liter, six cylinder. It's kind of a small engine. Curious to see what the hang tag says. 58. So even that, I mean, they've dropped 20 grand off a bit. All right, let's go uh, look at a different, different row, different type of vehicle. These look like some uh, new escapes, I'm guessing. So 24, so basically last year's model at this point. It's really plain by today's standards. Oh, is this thing electric? Must be hybrid. Cause it's got 40 miles per gallon, gasoline only, 101 electric and gas. But 42 grand. Yeah, hybrid. Now what else we got here? All-wheel drive escape. Their active drive. 28 miles to the gallon. 34. Now, so how long does it take to recoup the gas savings from buying hybrid? Although today's uh, gas prices might not be tomorrow's gas prices. So it might not be, or it might be faster than you think. Playing, but looks like some kind of panoramic roof. 42,000, 26 miles to the gallon. Although there is something to be said about Ford actually having cars in their lot. Oh, uh, maybe that's not good. I don't know. It was at the Toyota lot and there was just nothing on the lot. It's a 48,000. And just a, I don't know, a little escape. Escape front wheel drive, 48,000. Just seems like there's gotta be a better option out there for that kind of money. All right, one more escape, then we start to the Mustangs. 39,000, but I mean, this is kind of a plain chain. Escape all wheel drive, not much. And not much there for 40 grand. Options basically. All right, now what's your Mustang? Still wonder why they uh, picked the Mustang name for these things. Solid roof, almost like a I don't know, overdone fastback. I don't know what you'd call this. The rest of the brakes. These don't have the uh, date on them when they came in. I don't think. I mean the. Uh, it's uh, manufactured date would be on the tag and the door, but the doors are locked on these. It's 51000 $100 service fee. I don't think this dealer tax anything else. So. Like matching ones here. Oh, that's just 2023. Are these things a whole year old already? Yeah, 2023, 46,000. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, basically, I would get a 2025. It's pretty short. Sure. Sure. Surprise. Is this, yeah, this is 2023 also. I wasn't looking. Are all these things that old? No, this escape is 2024. I didn't think about them having cars. That'll, can you imagine? That's over a year old already. Look at the depreciation you're taking. They say you take, oh, at least 10% depreciation and you drive it off a lot. How much depreciation would you take when you drive off a uh, basically two model year old? Because even like this, so the 2025s are out. You know, everybody else is pushing the 2025s. This is a 2024. I mean, it's nice, it's brand new. But, uh, I mean, how do you get compensated for the uh, extra depreciation of a year old? $349. Our service fee, 33 grand. I mean, 33 grand is a little cheaper as far as new cars go, but I mean, that's the window sticker. So, I mean, maybe there's a little bit of a markup going from yeah, 23 basically to 25. Uh, how much is this on? 36. Bronco Sport. That's a 1.5 liter engine. I mean, is that thing gonna blow head gaskets? That's a really tiny engine. To kick out all that. I just wonder uh, how it's going to handle the pressure. I mean, I like the retro styling. Oh, that's black was a 2024. I, th I thought that green one was a 2023. Oh, yeah, 2024. Sorry, 2024. Just the uh, Mach E's were 2023's. But still, getting a uh, Year-end closeout. You want to get a little bit of a deal. Thirty-five thousand. That's bright. Uh, getting a year-end closeout. You want to get a little bit of a deal to compensate for that uh, extra hit of depreciation. Because you go to uh, sell that. And basically, twenty twenty-four counts. Counts as a uh, year. Other bank seems like that was a T-shirt. Oh, that's a used one mixed in. Oh, 1,800 miles, not very used. 2.3, four cylinder. Let's see, they got 53 on this for 2023. So it's a Bronco, not the Bronco Sport. Oh, I keep thinking Bronco and Bronco too, like it was back in the day. So it's Bronco and Bronco Sport. Pretty similar. I call him the Bronco too. That's what I'm talking about is the Lord Bronco. This looks tough. I like the big tires. All train TAs, that looks tough. Sits up a little bit. Oh, 93,000, wow. They got a market adjustment on this. I can't imagine. They're looking for 108. I don't know if you can see that. $15,000 market adjustment. I uh, didn't think that was still a thing. Three liter EcoBoost, 15 miles to the gallon. What year is this though? 2024. You don't think you'd have a market adjustment on a 2024 that's still in your lot. I mean, it looks tall for a Raptor. It's got the front camera. It looks tough, but uh, it's over $100,000. Well, the top comes off like a Jeep, looks like. Like it, just not that much. All right, I love the retro color. Kind of retro rims. Yeah, <laughs> 72,000. Don't like the price. It's got the brown interior. That's got really nice seats for it, just a little Bronco. They put a lot more into these than they used to. I mean, that's somewhat where the price comes from, but. I mean, you still gotta be able to afford it. Somebody's gotta be able to afford it. Maybe not me, but somebody's gotta be able to. Otherwise, uh, they're not gonna be able to build them anymore. Cause they will just all sit here. All right, looking through where that construction is on the other side, that's where that uh, auction house was. Uh, they just sold like households and stuff like that. I'd buy stuff there for uh, resale. I don't know, something to do, I guess. Uh, 63,000 for this one. 17 miles to the gallon. 
see more and more they come up with uh, factory parts um, like this stuff that was always aftermarket even the running boards and stuff I think that might uh, tame the enthusiasts a little bit because it's not as personalized if the uh, all the accessories are factory I mean I can see where somebody would say they want them but then you know they get them and it's just not as personal 55,000 look at the year 2024 it looks like everything's 2024 except for those uh lockies black diamond yeah each of these has like a different different theme so that was badlands this one's black diamond and this one's uh everglades warren winch from the factory apparently again i mean it's nice i just don't want to pay this much I, love, I, I think I'd love the top that comes off. Well, I'd leave the top off. This one's 58,000. I'd probably leave the top off, get it rained in, and get all moldy. Something to drive around. Drive around the farm, basically. See, I, I like how when I hold the camera against the glass, you can see. And even when the window's tinted, it kind of hides the tip. Oh, sorry, but I think those sections, I assume those sections would come off like the Jeep Wrangler does. All right, now we got some uh, expeditions. I keep wanting to call these excursions. Who's tracks the names? 2024, 73 grand. Very nice. I assume these are on the F-150 platform. Yeah, they just keep changing the front end just to change the front end, I think. Gotta do something with it to be like over 90,000. Well, gotta do something different with it just to justify the price. Really, 90,000? Oh, there is a sunroof. I thought there was no sunroof. $349 service fee. If you can see through the tint on that. Oh, well, all you can see is the window on the other side. Kind of doing that C shape on the taillights. Ah, here we go, F-150. I like this uh, light gray color. It's kind of becoming popular all of a sudden. It's been around for a while. 61,000. Pretty kind of fairly plain. What's the uh, uh, 3.5 EcoBoost? Ford's kind of made the uh, 3.5 kind of a standard engine at this point. Where like uh, Chevrolet, GM, whatever um, is still. That 5.3 is still, seems to be their sought after. All right, this one's a five liter V8. Oh, also the 10 speed transmission seems to be standard in um, uh, Fords, what am I looking at? Uh, 56, almost 57,000. Let's see like this, there's no spread in bed line or anything. I mean, they've got a little bit of stuff, but uh, it's gonna get scratched up in a hurry. I've seen those, or I've had those, those plastic drop-in bed liners, and that just uh, seems like they'd rub and make it worse. 62,445. 2024, 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Again, come on, give me a bed liner. Never seen Pirelli tires on a F-150. I guess I didn't pay attention. Yeah, that's what they're putting on those things now. Doesn't seem like the uh, a truck tire, I guess. Oh, this has got hand coke on it. Ah, uh, fifty-five thousand dollars, twenty twenty-four, two point seven liter. It's got the smaller. My understanding is they get a little better mileage with the small engine, but. Uh, not as once you're towing it's not as good so better when you're empty i try to only drive the truck when i'm towing though because uh you want to burn that gas if you're not uh sixty-three thousand dollars, three point five. 3.5 all right these are getting a little bit redundant what else do they have here anything interesting Average F-150, average F-150. At least all their 
Yeah, all 2024s. I think they have some 2025s by now. I thought the grill changed, although I guess I'm not uh, confident I would recognize 2024 compared to a 2025 from the grill. Ah, these are all 2024s. And these guys need to get these things sold. To this, they've got uh, some license plates. It looks like sold ones mixed in with service cars. Or, uh, I'm sorry, used ones mixed in with service cars. Well, this I used, uh, I kind of like that blue uh, F-150 crew cab. Let's see what these are. Explorer. See, that sticker is totally faded out from the tag stick. Oh, well, this is 6 of 20, 6, 24, 24. June 2021 Explorer. Nice interior. Signed, I can't tell. 72324 maybe. Is that pilots? Yeah, pilots. Almost 37,000. 2022. Tan leather. Yeah, only had it since 8. Not that one. Looks like that uh, hood tag, or hood decal is they trail rated, so hopefully she can go off road. Looks like some funky cloth interior. You got the seatbelt buckle when it's sitting on it. 148,000 miles. Really, 148,000 miles in a 2018? They're looking for 17, ah, I guess 17 grand isn't as horrible. All right, service cars. This blue. Ford STX. And then a lot new, I see some STXs for a decent price. 47,000. Uh, cloth interior. I'll set it off. I do like the uh, leg room in the back of uh, F-150. You definitely uh, can sit back there and not eat your knees. We got, it looks like 10,000 miles. 2.7 liter. I'm assuming that's EcoBoost. Ah, that seems like a lot for such a small engine. I mean, if it can do it, but I, I just think it's time will tell. I mean, how do you know how a 2.7 is going to do? Well, I guess there are some 2.7s with lots of miles on them, though. Here's another cross track at $26,000. I just thought you could get a truck cross track for like 30 brand new. 2021. This has got the nicer interior, so it's a higher trim level. Oh, it's only got 21,000 miles. So, uh, 21,000 miles, higher trim level. Uh, maybe that's a reasonable price. Sport. Yeah, sport is used by, seems like, everybody. And sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes that's a bad thing. I've seen somewhere the sport level is the uh, cheap one. Other well, seats, no sunroof. Uh, 2019, 65,000 miles. You got 40 grand on the window sticker. What's up there? Platinum. Well, platinum always means higher trim, I guess. 2023. See, these all have the uh, seatbelt. Buckled. They must be moving these things and don't want them to listen to it bang. 15,000 miles is all. 90 grand. That is a lot of money. 819. The, the signatures on the window stickers is within the last few months. So, I mean, these cars aren't sitting a really long time. I don't even know if this one's for sale. Oh, yeah, it does have the stock tag on it, but. 2019 Cherokee. Oh, 19 grand. The uh, hang tags laying on the seat. Weather sunroof, 74,000 miles. Ah, right, here's a little older Ford. Take all your animals with you under the topper. Your, your extra cab. Ooh, 10 grand. Getting to be a good price. How many miles does this thing have? 
It's 2015. I forget, that'd be aluminum body. But first generation, 3.5. Ecotec, oh, just rear wheel drive, 197,000 miles. And rear wheel drive, not four wheel drive. It definitely brings it down. Oh, up here in the rust belt, snow belt, whatever you want to call it. The little Ford EcoSport. 20 grand. I don't know, pay it by the pound. Should be less. 26,000 miles, not a lot of miles. <laughs> two liter four cylinder. I don't know, that pickup has a 2.7, that thing has a two. High country, deep tinted windows. I'm not sure if you can see what's in there. Oh, a little bit when I uh, hold it against the glass. Rooms look a little funky, tires look a little funky. Not all easy to change. Find the vehicle you want and accessorize it like you want. 2014, so 10 years old. Uh, let's see, 168,000 miles. It has a 5.3 V8. It's got some life left in it, but uh, hard to say exactly how much. EcoBoost, tan interior. Again, I just don't like how the, when it gets dirty. 12 grand, uh, 11,275. Let's see, 153,000 miles. It's got the 3.5. That'd be a uh, first generation again. I know I've heard the first generation has some problems, but I'm not sure how much. It's a little bit older. Got some rust. Bottom of the fender. Some paint damage. Headlights are a little fogged. Triton V8. Maybe by the engine. 2001. Looks like tan interior. Only 113,000 miles. Do you worry about what year it is, or do you worry about how many miles it has on it? Or how much rust? Looks like there's a bar or something trying to cover the rusty rocker. The, uh, this place has a lot of used trucks. I mean, they're uh, definitely turning some if they've got this many uh, on the used lot. I'd be getting them from somewhere. Oh, look at that. Sticker all came off, but you can still read it. 5.4 Triton. I do like the interior in this. I mean, when you're driving it, you see the interior. You don't really see the exterior. 252,000 miles. Right there. 5.4 V8. It's an ad for the vehicle right there. If it has that many miles on it. That uh, yours might uh, be able to get that many on it, too. So, I mean, that's, that's a good sign for Ford F-150. If you can have uh, over 250,000 miles and still be on the lot for sale. V400 on this edge, green with uh, black leather interior, 161,000 miles. Well, same thing on the edge, that many miles is impressive. I assume that's a new one over there. I'm just wondering if they have some 2025s. I thought I'd see something on this lot. This is kind of the back corner, although look how much space they have. Oh, it seems like the dealer in Stevens Point had was totally full. I mean, this one is somebody's already, because I don't see. Well, no tag on it, but there's no plate on it. Uh, the dealer in Stevens Point, their lot was just like totally packed. But like this one, there's a fair amount of space. Even over here, they've got the uh, vehicles kind of in a circle cover up some of the space. So they're uh, expensive, but moving them apparently. I know you only get views on uh, YouTube if you're uh, giving negative information. 2024. But see, 50 grand. So this has got to be an XL. Yeah, it's an XL. Just plain, plain, plain. 2.7 liter EcoBoost. Does have a 10 speed transmission. With plain plane for basically 50 grand. I mean, I swear not that many years ago, these things were uh, uh, like 35. It's four wheel drive, but I mean, that's like the 
only thing it's got going for it. Oh, vinyl floor, lost seats. Hmm. Just seems like there should be a uh, a lower base model. I mean, yeah, I get it. You want to move people up to try to make some money, but where's your uh, where's your base model to you know get people started? There's not much of a price difference between uh, I don't know, a nice one and expensive one. Or they all are expensive. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm looking at the next car. It's got a nice interior. It's going to be all wheel drive. All right, back to F-150. So this is a King Ranch. So 50 for absolutely nothing on it. And then 77, 76, 960 for uh, King Ranch. Although that doesn't even have a bed liner or nothing. Got the little tape measure on the tailgate, but, but very nice interior. I do like the King Ranch interiors. I mean, it's definitely more, but uh, for the King Ranch. Retail, apparently. Yeah, King Ranch likes to put the little emblem on everything, that little W. All right, a little heavier duty here. Super duty. F-350, 62,000. I don't think I spend more on a truck. Maybe I should do more. It's got a sprayed bed liner at least. Not like a step up bed liner or anything. Well, your mileage probably isn't the best, but I mean, I don't know. I, I only drive the truck when I'm hauling something. I try not to drive it otherwise. Just seems like a waste of gas. I mean, some people, you can only own one vehicle, so you're stuck with, well, the biggest vehicle that'll work for you. The way insurance costs are now having extra vehicles is uh, kind of getting expensive too. Well, maybe it always has been. There's cobwebs on there. Oh, 100,000. Oh, F-350 King Ranch. All right, well, I guess if you uh, are gonna do the uh, company write-off for your towing vehicle, and you have lots to write off, well, I thought you're better off taking the mileage deduction, but I, I do see a lot of businesses buying vehicles so they can write them off. It's the most expensive one I've seen though. 85, wow, 15 grand less. Although that's an F350, this is an F250 Lariat. I like the vinyl floor. I prefer the vinyl floor. It's easier to clean up. You ever have like, a, I don't know, kids in your vehicle or pets? Um, you want smooth surfaces, you don't want cloth. F250, a little more of a plain Jane, but 67, 820. Not that plain. Oh, that does look like uh, vinyl seats. A lot easier to take care of. Yeah, XL. But I mean, F250 XL, so I mean, that's your base. Um, that would be three quarter ton. And it's at 67,000. All right, I think I looked at all these before. All right, kind of looping back around. There's a few on the other side, but uh, getting kind of long-winded here, I think. Yeah, I still like the Broncos, the uh, retro style. Some of the dark green looks tough. A bit of red. Hey, this this lot seems to show a different mix than I see uh, other people reporting online. They've got the expensive vehicles, but they definitely have some uh, with some trade-ins and don't see like crazy dates other than the uh, mach -E's, as far as how old they are. So maybe the car market's a little healthier here at uh, Rapid Ford. Oh, there you go, 6.7 power stroke. F450, I, that is big. Is there any stickers on this thing? Come on the other side. Nice interior. <laughs> I 
Oh, he's got a taff the back. Oh, I can't read what that blue tag says. Oh, it's $69,950. Oh, it's got the uh, fifth wheel prop. So still 70 grand, but uh, I don't know, this could pull something. This could really pull something. It is used. Oh, 67,000 miles and it's still that much. Wow. It's up there. Window stickers is 85,000. This has got the uh, plastic bed liner. Looks a little bit beat up. 6.7, another F450. I've uh, worked with uh, straight trucks that had cabs like this, but never worked with a pickup uh, larger than an F350. Uh, 63,000. 73,000 miles. It just seems a little, I don't know. Everything seems expensive, I guess. But if you gotta pull, you gotta pull. Just start comparing, that might be the best deal out there. It's hard to say without doing all the research. Other interior, $80,000 F250 Lariat. Something smells really good. There's somebody nearby doing some cooking, making me hungry. We'll see 42820 XLT. Oh, this is used. 37,000 miles. Let's think it was new for a second. F-150 Lariat. See, they have a lot of trucks, a lot of used trucks here. 20,000 miles. I, I mean, the market, the market seems a lot more healthy walking on this lot than anywhere else. I mean, I don't like the prices, but I mean, sure, it looks like they're turning stuff. Could look at more uh, signature dates on uh, inspections. Uh, I see a lot of them say 817 of 24. It's possible they're taking and writing new tags. You know, once they get a certain age, people look at that so they know. They write a new tag. There are some websites that track um, dealer inventory. 806, oh, not 817 at least. Lots of F-150s. 2022. Black cloth interior. Oh, this is, what, May 10th? That's been there a little while, 28,000 miles. All right, it's a nice looking truck, but it's a 40 grand for a used truck. Hey, I haven't seen anything for Rangers. 33 grand, 2021. And no date on the uh, sticker. 23,000 miles though. Although, I mean, sometimes the cheapest just wins. Ah, for that, uh, I have to look at the Jaguar before I cut this off. Just this is a Jaguar on the uh, Ford lot. Seventy-two thousand miles, no price. Three liter, six cylinder. All right, no price, but uh, still a Jag on the Ford lot. I like them, I just don't know how reliable they are. I think the Jags are sharp. All right, again, you kind of always got to wonder why the uh, Dodge is for sale in the Ford lot. Did he uh, trade it in on a Ford? 20,000 miles, looks like. All right, that's pre-owned Fords at uh, Rapids Ford. We're going to cut this off if you can even hear me.